Mr. Poem, hello. Hey, Internet. How y'all doing, Melly? Hi. Yeah, how are you? I'm okay, just listening in. And, um, Internet, you are one of the finest, nicest ladies that's been on here. You know, you've been very a gentle spirit, kind eyes, everything. Thank you. How, how long you been in New York for? I went to college here and I stayed. So for quite, I'm 35, so quite a long time. How old is that? Yeah. Lisa. Okay. It's been for a minute. Hey, what's what's one of your worst train experiences? You know, New York got one of the <laughs> one of the best experiences and worst experiences with the people that's out here. There's so many bad train experiences. I was I, I don't take the train anymore, thank God. But I remember being on the train. I used to work really late, and I remember the train that I used to ride. You familiar with New York? I'm I'm from out here. Oh, where you where you live? Where you from? Uh, you know, I really want to tell that on here, but uh, um, Staten Island. Oh, Staten Island. All right. So you know the A train. That's the longest train. That's where all the you know folks who are who need home and shelter they will get on that train because that's the longest train they could stay warm or whatever the case is. Right. I used to take that train home around like three, four in the morning, dumbly, and Every time I would get on this train, there would be this same man, it seemed, waiting for me. And he would come, and he was homeless, and he was very nice, but he would sit next to me, and he smelled so awful, but I would bring him food, so he would always come to me. Mm. And one night, I brought him this food, because I worked at a jazz club, and he threw up all over me. <laughs> and he did me too, but, and he felt so bad, but I was trying but I almost passed out. I was so upset. And so ever then I stopped taking that train. I wow. would walk a different distance to avoid him. And I felt bad, but that was pretty awful. I've also had homeless people get on and like start peeing, which was just wrong. But that's New York for you. That's New York. And everybody minded their business and act like they didn't even see it. <laughs> <That's bad. laughs> well, I have a, a question for you. Um, I'm curious about. How was you able to stay content during this entire time of being single? Oh, because like, I'm what keeps you content. Myself. I'm learning. Come again? I'm always in a relationship with myself. I'm learning that. Mm. I mean, it's not easy. I'm not going to say that it's easy. I'm not going to say that I don't have sexual desires. I'm not going to say that I don't want to cuddle with somebody, you know, or like be able to call somebody at the end of the day. But I have really, really close friendships and relationships. And I just feel like, I'm, I want to. I want to wait for when it's when, when it feels right, when it feels good. So well, that, well, that's why I asked that question. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, I'm in a space where I'm, you know, learning more about me and trying to get to a place to be content in my singleness. You're like, yeah, yeah, yeah everything I would want, and I know if I seen you in person, I would go for. But I'm in a space where I'm not ready. So I wanted to ask you that question to get something from you. You know, do a lot more learning. Emotional labor for you now? <laughs> come again? Come again? You asking me to do emotional labor for you now? No, not not for me. But you know, I can always learn from somebody, and I know, like I said, I would have never shot my shot if I never got on here. So speaking to you is enough for me for now. Okay, but you're not looking for it, right? I'm not ready for it. Okay. So I'm not going to get on here and lie, but I know I had to get on here to, to ask, you know, seven years is a long time of being single. And you say you dated one time in the last past year, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, I was, I was curious. I don't, I mean, it's, it's all individual. I think that if I don't know what you're dealing with or why you're not ready, but I would, my advice to you would be to look for all the parts of you that has, built up walls blocking love and try to break those down while you're single and just just prepare yourself to be the best version of yourself for you and then if somebody comes along that you could share that with that'll work but that that that's it oh no beautiful thank you all right nice meeting you